Hey everyone, Robles Jr. here, and today we're going to cover the latest update to the N64 emulator for the PS Vita, and that is the Atlas X64. And I'm just so amazed and so excited to see this update just released in a matter of days after the first version was released. And I'm just so excited to see the difference between the gameplays here and seeing all the different changes that the developers have done for the emulator. And on my last video, on my first video that I covered this emulator, I had over 3,000 views, uh, over 100 likes, and 100, or no, uh, over 50 comments on that video. So I just want to say thank you so much for supporting the channel and for watching that video and for being part of this amazing homebrew scene. So I did notice in the comment section that a few people were a little upset that the emulator was still running a little laggy and not playing games correctly. So uh, I just wanted to point out a few things guys that it's unfortunate that people are complaining about the emulator after the version 0.2 release saying that hey some of these games are not working it's the same emulator the same thing that we're seeing on the PSP and I just want to say please stop please stop complaining please stop being angry and salty about it because these developers are doing this stuff for free out of their time out of their spare time to develop this amazing emulator for us for the Vita and to have something like this released just not too long ago and then have an update within a matter of days I think that's just incredible and amazing and we have to be more thankful to these developers because they're doing us a service and they're not asking us for money they they are asking for donations but they're not charging us to download the emulator and things like that and they could one day possibly but anyways so version 0.2 does have a huge change log and there's a lot of different fixes and i'll leave that link in the description down below so you can go check it out along with the vpk if you're still downloading it off your computer and installing it through ftp client or usb connection the best way to update the Atlas X64 is through Vita Homebrew Browser. And all you have to do is just have your Wi Fi connection enabled. Go in and you select the Atlas X64, the latest update. Go ahead and download it. And it will download the files, extract it, and place it in the correct folder. If you already have games installed from the previous version of the Atlas X64, there's nothing to worry about just because it will copy over everything onto the new version. So here we are at the main menu. Let's check out Extra. Hover over and press L. Go to Credits. And here we have version 0.2. Perfect. And we can check the audio because they did add a synchronous. So let's check that out. And let's play Super Smash Bros because I'm hearing that this game is running finally at 60 frames per second. So there it is, Super Smash Bros. This will be amazing if they finally accomplished what everyone has been longing for in the homebrew scene. And that's a perfectly running N64 emulator. Okay, so let's do... Um, let's go here, let's do training. And on my last video, everything was running perfectly, except when you go and fight. It was just a lot of lag, so let's do link. Let's press start. You can hear the audio is a little off. And when you're selecting, it does lag just a tiny bit. Let's go to the Saffron City. Oh my god, what is this? You guys. It's working. Oh, and I just died. Typical. So, let's see, we can jump. 
up. And the audio is not that bad. Oh boy. Okay, so I have to press X to attack. Let's run. Let's see here. Let's run Ocarina of Time. Music sounds good. Looks like it's working. Oh, thank God. Did I save it though? Or do I have to go through the entire story? All right, so here we are with the gameplay. And at the top, I did activate my overclocking plugin. And it's showing 20 frames per second, which is not bad. I prefer 30. So it is lagging there a little bit. bit of a difference since the last time I played this on the first version. Version 1.0. Yeah, this is where it starts to lag. So by getting to the main menu, you want to tap on the touch screen and you can close the ROM here. And let's move on to Killer Instinct Gold. That was one game that didn't run at all. And I'm hoping to see this one actually play. That's cool. Everything runs fine in the beginning, but after you start the first match, it just... Yeah, this is not a good sign. I can't even see... I can't even select the characters now. And it crashed. Yep. Let's try Pokemon Stadium just because I saw a lot of changes and support for this one here. Charmander and Bulbasaur, so I think that's what we're gonna do here. Let's get started! This battle is Let's gonna get started! To get into a Go battle Charmander! Right away. Oh, this Magma is so screwed. Let's battle. Oh, he's got the first hit, I guess. Where's the flamethrower? Ah. Here's the first move! Oh, he should have been knocked out. 
That's a one hit or quitter right there. But to hear that music and to see all this playing is awesome. This is, I do see a huge difference from the first gameplay that I did on my first video. It wasn't as smooth as I'm seeing it today, here, now. So good. Love the music. Pokemon are moving just fine. The audio is a little bit off. When he's speaking, well, that's it. The trainer hasn't issued an order. Let's do the through. commands are issued. What now? On the spot. Sparks are flying in this heated match.